All right, guys, uh, you can see, uh, <laughs> you can see the cat blocking the light. Really? Right now? You got to be up here right now? Come on. So, you can see all the clad. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 quarters. Oh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 dimes. A bunch of pennies. Um, I got this jobby. Got it. Right, so got this about probably three, four inches. I've gotten old parts here before. This is an old lantern part. And I got this part, which is important. That'll tell me it has writing on it, too. Usually that's where you figure out where these are, how old they are and whatnot. A number of these lantern tops. Um, I haven't heard time reading this. I get I get certain letters. I'm going to have to, I'll have to try again. Maybe in the daylight. The lighting's crappy in here, so. Uh, let's see. I got a ring. All right, I see a ring. Certainly not deep at all, and it wasn't ringing up silver. <laughs> My only hope is gold. I'm sure it's a junk. It's a uh, just a junker. Still a ring, better than a pull tab. Uh, I got a uh, starfish. All right, got something here. It was only maybe an inch down, just under the grass, and it looks like a starfish. It's got glue in the back. Went on something, a star. I don't know what this goes down to. It's heavy. I mean, it's nothing, it's no precious metal. It had glue on the back. It stuck onto something. Uh, a couple jobbies. If you see anything shiny here, I hit the wood chips in one spot. So I got some clad there. A couple of these. You always find these in wood chips. Um, I got a lock heavy piece of brass uh got bullets you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of these i don't know what it is but um come on go on get 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 go on uh, this is really cool. I got this axe head. All right, guys. I'm in the in the middle of the woods, and now I found a number of axe heads, but I've never found one like this. This is pretty cool. It almost looks like a almost a hatchet type. It's got a little V's there. This one looks pretty cool. Now here's the bad thing. I gotta lug this thing out. <laughs> oh man, this is a really nice one. There's a root growing right through the where the uh, where the hole is. Huh? Man, I am in the middle of nowhere. This is gonna be a heavy haul. It's pretty cool though. I'm taking it and. Pretty darn awesome. It's funny shaped. Look at that. It's like a V. Uh, I got this in the middle of nowhere. In the woods. I can't get that root out. There's a root going through the middle of it. <laughs> so, this one's actually good enough. I might try to restore this. I've got a number of axe heads. I've never got one like this. This one actually is not that big. It's it's a small. It might even be a... Nah, it's too heavy for a hatchet, but... It's not much bigger than a hatchet. Definitely smaller. Um, and let's see... Oh, uh, 
Okay, got a buckle. Some sort, probably an animal, cat leash or something, dog. Uh, and I guess the find of the day, well, I got, I got, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen wheat pennies. One of these came out of the ground, and those twelve came out of the water yesterday. There is a, a couple pieces of clad in here from yesterday, too. This isn't all from today. I didn't do a video yesterday, so. Well, I've been at it maybe an hour and a half, and I gotta film something, I guess, so I got my first wheat penny. Um, I went back out to the water spot and I got these. Um, there is an old one here too. I can't remember what year. And uh, um, the problem I'm running into now in the water spot is hard clay. I mean, I can't even get my shovel into it. So after you get down, after you get down through like a foot of sand, <laughs> and then uh, you hit the hard clay. So. Um, I'm giving that place a little break. My arms are killing me. So, uh, and the find of the day, uh, I just had it in my hand. All right, I was working my way back to my truck and clad, 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 and I got this. And I said, okay, more clad, another dime. And I started looking at the back, and I was like, whoa, that looks a little different. And that is either a barber dime. Or a seated. I haven't flipped it over yet. I mean, well, there's covered with dirt. I have flipped it over. But, oops. Boy, it sure don't look silver, does it? Usually the coins come out really nice up here. I mean, there's nice detail on this coin. I can see that. It just don't look silver. <laughs> I don't know if I should rub it or, or not. That's pretty caked on there. I don't know if I can help. I can't help it. Ah, oh, it's a barber. So that's cool. And there's a date, of course. Uh, I can't tell what the date is. 18 something. Looks like 1893. Something. I'll clean it up later. Awesome. Getting a little chilly and I was on my way back. I wasn't expecting this here at all. I have only gotten one silver dime here in my life and it was a rosy. And I've hunted here quite often. It's always a clad. I always come over here and just clean up in the clad as you'll see in the roundup. So, uh, and I've lost it. Okay. There it is, uh, right here. Now, when I when I dug this, I thought it was clad. I mean, it came out like that, and it still looks like clad. <laughs> you know, it looks like that, you know, all dirty. And my silver don't come out like that up here. And it wasn't super deep. You know, it was about six inches, and I certainly wasn't expecting it where I got it. And... Uh, Uh, I just couldn't get excited about it because of the condition, really. And it, you can see that on film. Normally, I get re you see me get really excited. And just something didn't excite me about this one. I've got barber dimes before quite often. And you see a nice little... I don't know. I had to have done this. I guess when I wiped it clean, it's got a couple scratches on it. That's why you shouldn't wipe stuff on the field. I can't walk around and all day without knowing what's in my pocket though. It's just impossible for me. So yeah, that sucks right there. I mean, there's, there's really some scratches. I, I can't believe I did that. Um, anyways, I got home, looked it up, and it's a 1992, or 1992, 1892 S, which is huge. Even in shit condition, it's worth, you know, like uh, 50, 60 bucks. It's, this is probably 120 bucks. Nah, I wouldn't even say that. Maybe a little less. 
probably I'd be lucky to get 60 if I actually sold it so yeah that's the find of the day and of course the cat's gotta start licking herself right here so back looks pretty good just don't have that shine so really happy about this now after I found out what it was I just I can't see how me just moving that dirt made those scratches I don't get that I must have hit it with my shovel or something those are pretty serious scratches so, all right uh, I guess that's it thanks for watching